वेलकम टू राज मल्होत्रा आई एस अकेडमी आई एम सुरभि सरदाना एंड दिस इज प्रिलिम स्प्रिंट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू वेर वी डिस्कस द मोस्ट एसेंशियल टॉपिक्स यू नीड टू लर्न टू क्रैक प्रिलिम्स दिस ईयर द टॉपिक फॉर टूडे इज फ्रॉम मैपिंग वी विल बी कवरिंग एन एंटायर सीरीज फॉर मैपिंग विल बी कवरिंग ऑल द कॉन्टिनेंट्स ऑल द स्टेट्स दैट आर इन्वॉल्व ऑल द प्लेसेज विच हैव बीन इन न्यूज इन द पास्ट वन टू टू ईयर्स ओशन करंट्स एंड all other things that can be asked from mapping area of ups uh, in upsc exam to, for today this is the first lecture for mapping and uh, we will be, we will be covering what all questions can be asked from the continent africa so let's begin see first of all uh, uh, as you can see here this is a tropic of cancer this is the equator and this is the tropic uh, tropic of capricorn if you look at uh, africa here you can see that all these three latitudes all these three lines pass through africa so this is the only continent through which all these latitudes pass so remember this uh, have this in mind an equator almost cuts africa into two equal parts the second point to remember here is that prime meridian the lat uh, the longitude which separates the earth between eastern and western hemispheres that also passes through africa so africa is also known as the continent which is present in all the four hemispheres so uh, this is about it some of the important points to remember about africa is that it is the second largest continent right after asia also it is known as the dark continent uh, it goes back the history goes back to colonialism that white people wanted to uh, introduce slavery in africa so they called it the dark continent it is also known as the mother continent because uh, it has been assumed that human race originated from here so this is known as the mother continent most of it it lies in the tropical or uh, you know torrid zone why uh, why is it so because uh, as we saw that tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn pass through it and so see this is your tropic uh, tropic of cancer and this is your tropic of capricorn here this line and this line so as you can see like if you can uh, see the boundary most of this uh, continent is contained between both these tropics so it mostly it is contained in the tropical or torrid zone the highest point uh, in africa is mount kilimanjaro it is located in tanzania here this is your tanzania and uh, mount kilimanjaro is located here and the lowest point is lake asal in djibouti indian uh, army has a base in djibouti we have a base there so in djibouti we have the lowest point for africa it is known as lake asal it is below sea level So moving on Africa is known as the continent of plateaus the uh, plateaus it contains many plateaus uh, in its uh, topography also Africa uh, surprisingly it is higher in the south like this area it is higher in altitude and and in the east eastward also it is higher so whatever rivers are there in africa you will see that they don't go towards south they go towards north for example nile which starts from here it flows into mediterranean sea here it goes towards north because south is higher in uh, altitude and uh, or most of the rivers they go in the atlantic ocean here and there are just two rivers in africa which flow into the indian ocean other all rivers flow into the atlantic ocean or into the or nile flows into the mediterranean sea so just remember that this continent has altitude higher in east it has higher uh, height in the east and in the southern area and uh, it is separated from two other continents europe and asia where is it separated we'll see here is your europe the thing in white so it is separated from europe by mediterranean sea here you have the atlantic ocean and from asia it is separated by the red sea here so uh, this is something you have to remember these oceans are uh, these seas these oceans have to be uh, remembered these separation points we will cover all the seas uh, and you know mapping from mediterranean sea red sea everything will be covered in the subsequent lectures so uh, there are three points where africa almost touches eurasia or other continents the first one is very famous it is called the strait of gibraltar here this is the strait of gibraltar 
from the Europe side we have got Spain and here we have Africa and Atlas mountains are uh, located here. So, Strait of Gibraltar separates Africa from Eurasia or Europe there. The second point of separation is Suez Canal in the northeast of Africa. Here you can see the Suez Canal, it separates Africa from Eurasia. And the third one is Strait of Babal Mandeb in the east. Here you have Gulf of Aden and Strait of Babal Mandeb is here, exactly at this point. It is not mentioned here, but this has to be remembered that it separates Africa and Eurasia, this strait here. So, moving on, now we will talk about the African Rift Valley, the Great African Rift Valley. You know, Rift Valley or uh, is uh, as the name indicates is the point where plates, tectonic plates are going apart. So, in the eastern side of Africa, we have the Great African Rift Valley where a lot of plates, a lot of tectonic plates are drifting apart. And this has created a great, a very uh, uh, very different kind of geological structure. So, the East African Rift System is one, uh, one of the geological wonders of the world, a place where the Earth's tectonic forces are presently trying to create new plates by splitting apart the old ones. In simple terms, a rift can be thought of as a fracture. We will see this, uh, we will see a better picture of this in the coming slides. It can be thought of as a fracture in the Earth's surface that widens over time. So, this continent will break over time as this rift valley widens, as these plates are going apart. So, as it uh, widens over time or more technically as an elongate basin bounded by opposed steeply slipping normal faults. So, uh, this is uh, your exact representation of rift valley. As we saw here, uh, uh, the rift valley can be represented by the red here. So, as plates are drifting apart, a lot of water has been collected in the drifting areas. These are known as lakes and these are the lakes which form the part of rift valley L Lake Edward, Lake Albert, Lake Kivu, Lake Tanganyika, Lake Rukwa, Lake Malawi. So, these are the important lakes of Rift Valley. One thing you have to remember here is that Lake Victoria from where White Nile originates. Nile river has got two tributaries, one is the White Nile and the second is Blue Nile. So, White Nile originates from Lake Victoria and Lake Victoria does not form a part of Rift Valley, it is located in between, it is located in the center. So, this is something you have to remember. The lake of Rift, uh, the lakes of Rift Valley, there is a string of lakes in the uh, Rift Valley and Lake Tanganyika and Lake Nyasa are the larger ones and Lake Victoria does not form a part of it. Now, we will talk about the major islands of Africa. Here, we will be covering islands which surround Africa. They might not be political or politically a part of Africa. So, the first one is Madagascar here. So, it is located in the Indian Ocean and it is the largest island of Africa. As you can see, this is very large in size. This, uh, this island is almost the fourth largest island in the world. So, if you see in your paper that uh, you have to give the uh, give a categorization of islands according to area. So, Madagascar is on the fourth position in the world and it is the largest island of Africa. The other island he islands here are just you know sometimes you can get it uh, get islands of a particular continent or you know an amalgamation of islands from two continents and you will have to arrange them from north to south or from east to west. So, that is why this categorization learning map here is very important. This is your Seychelles. Below this is Comoros. Here we have Mauritius and below Mauritius we have Reunion Islands which belong to France and there has been a lot of opposition going on in recent times that they should have an independent, independent uh, government or they should be freed. So, uh, Madagascar we have done. To the northwest, you can see there are the Canary Islands which belong to Spain here. This was your Strait of Gibraltar. Here we have Canary Islands and they belong to Spain and they are located near Africa. And there is also one uh, prominent island that is called Saint Helena. They say that Napoleon died in exile here. It belongs to the United Kingdom. So, Saint Helena is here. You can download the PDF of this presentation from the link in the description below. The link will take you to our Telegram channel. And uh, after downloading, just zoom on the map that is given here and see for yourself what all important things you can learn and uh, what all you can imbibe. 
cramming a map won't help you'll have to go through atlas again and again you'll have to see political maps of continents or of countries again and again to to be able to tackle mapping questions in upsc exam um zanzibar it belongs to tanzania uh, tanzania and is closer to the indian ocean so where is tanzania this so you have zanzibar towards the north then you have seychelles then you have comoros Madagascar and uh, parallel to this is Mauritius and the lowest here is Reunion Island which uh, which belong to France. We have Madeira for Portugal here, somewhere here. So that's the port and and it belongs to Portugal. So these are the major islands uh, which surround Africa. Now uh, the twelfth point to remember in mapping for Africa is rivers of Africa. Questions from rivers of Africa have been asked again and again. as i said that uh, the uh, the rise of or the height of africa african continent is higher towards the south and towards the east so it creates a very reverse flow of rivers which is uh, like which is very in, uh, which makes us very inquisitive so there are just two rivers which flow in the indian ocean we learn about those but let's start about the first important river is river, river nile it is the longest river of the world Egypt is said to be a gift of Nile why because had Nile not been there then Egypt would not have no, would not have been fertile as you can see here we have Nile flowing from here Egypt is located here see Egypt is located here and uh, Nile brings water to Egypt and that's where a lot of cotton cultivation is carried out in Egypt here when Nile drains into the Mediterranean Sea here it forms a delta so may uh, so just remember that nile does form a delta in the mediterranean sea and there are two tributaries of nile one is the white nile here and the second one is the blue nile here white nile starts from lake victoria somewhere here and it goes on to join the actual nile river blue nile starts from Lake Tana here. Lake Tana has not been mentioned, but Lake Tana sta is located here, and here they join to form the actual Nile River. So uh, make sure that you remember the two tributaries of the River uh, River Nile. That's all you need to remember from here. The next one is River Niger. This is the most important river of West Africa. Its flow is flow is very high, and just remember that Niger River. flows into the western atlantic ocean here uh, towards the atlantic ocean in the west not the western atlantic ocean the third one is the congo or zaire river this is an important river from the perspective of mapping because congo river is the only river in africa which cuts the equator twice as you can see this is the your congo river okay so here is the representation So this is your equator passing here this dotted line which has been colored in red here and this is your Congo river so it cuts the equator twice and this river flows into the Atlantic ocean here the important part about this river is that it it's a, it's a tropical river very dense forest very dense tropic, tropical forest are attributed to this river and it is non navigable because a lot of vegetation is present on it so it is non navigable because floating vegetation on it because of the rapids and waterfalls that are caused uh, because of the rapids and waterfalls that are located there The next one is these three uh, uh, rivers are important from mapping perspective. The question here uh, that is asked is either you'll have to arrange these African rivers from north to south, or you'll have to differentiate on the basis of whether they flow into the Atlantic Ocean or on, into the Indian Ocean. One of the questions has been asked from these rivers in 2020 prelims. So just remember when you are doing African rivers, just keep this map in mind that which rivers are located towards the north. which river is flowing in which sea and uh, especially into the indian ocean there are only two african rivers which flow into the indian ocean one is zambezi here you can see zambezi river it flows into the indian ocean somewhere here near the mozambique mozambique channel so it flows into the indian ocean and victoria falls are located on this river so that's all you have to remember once you know the location 
of uh, like you know different uh, topographies different ge uh, geological characteristics of different continents more than this is not required from upsc prelims perspective or mapping perspective this much information would be more than enough the fifth one is limpopo this also flows into the indian ocean here orange rivers a river is the most you know it is located in the southernmost part of africa and this river surprisingly flows into the atlantic ocean it doesn't get into the in, uh, indian ocean so there is a lot of confusion between these three rivers especially limpopo and orange just remember orange river doesn't flow into the indian ocean it goes back uh, towards the west into the atlantic ocean so that's all you remember uh, you need to remember about limpopo river you have to remember that it crosses tropic of cancer twice here somewhere here tropic of cancer is passing and this river cuts tropic of cancer two times uh, twice so it flows into indian ocean and crosses tropic of cancer twice so which river crosses tropic of can uh, equator twice that is your congo or zaire river and tropic of cancer is uh, cut twice by this river limpopo now moving on we'll talk about the deserts of africa there are four deserts uh, located in africa the first one is sahara desert and it is the largest hot desert of africa you have tuareg tribes here in the sahara desert tribes have not been asked by upsc in the recent past but for uh, you know information and to you know eliminate a lot of statements that occur there you must remember that this tuareg is an african tribe found in the sahara desert the second one is namib desert namib desert um, let me locate it for you sahara desert is here namib desert is here when we talk when we will talk about ocean currents we will be telling you that here we have a cold ocean currents that is called the benguelen current and due to offshore trade winds plus the presence of this uh, benguelen uh, cold current this is a cold desert desert has been formed due to this presence of ocean current and offshore trade winds so cold desert has been formed here and it is called the namib desert so here you can see it is a cold desert formed due to offshore trade winds trade winds cold benguelen current it is a sandy desert and hot and hot tribe hot and torch tribes are found here just keep this in mind the key to revision is that bringing the same things in front of your eyes again and again especially when it comes to mapping just go back to your atlas try to locate things again and again or just observe the atlas for like 30 minutes every day and you will be done with all the mapping questions that will be asked in prelims the third one is kalahari kalahari desert kalahari desert is located here towards the southern part of africa it is formed due to the rain shadow effect rain does not reaches here the important part about this is that tropic of capricorn capricorn passes through kalahari desert in Bo botswana so there is one desert from which a uh, tropic of capricorn passes it is the kalahari desert and remember the place it is botswana also it is home to bushmen tribes of africa these are very important tribes and these are the oldest surviving tribal groups of africa so make sure that you remember bushmen tribes the fourth is nubian desert it is separated by libyan desert by nile river rocky desert your nubian desert is located in this area so um, this is the end of studying of continent of africa this was a very quick revision you uh, the entire physiography can be found in the uh, regular geography books that you are reading this much portion is enough for mapping for africa also we will be covering other parts from where which are the countries through which tropic of capricorn equator or cancer passes on which are the places through which prime meridian passes or the ocean currents the important mountain ranges and things like that in the coming series stay tuned um, keep working hard